opportunities to trial is serious business. But that hasn't taken the ever-present smile off the face of Melbourne-based Merv. <laughs> Laughter has turned Merv's life around, and he's now passionately educating others on the art of chuckling, giggling, and ha ha their way to health and happiness. Laughter is your remedy. That's it, I've got nothing else. What is laughter a remedy for? Uh, everything. And I do have some processes that I think the panel will be interested in about how we can enable people to laugh. Well, you know, they do say that laughter is the best medicine. They do say that. So I am going to send you up to meet our panel of uh -huh. experts. High five. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you. <laughs> remedy be infectious enough for a trial? <laughs> Absolutely. Because laughter is so contagious. Like, Merv, you were walking down the stairs and you were laughing. We yeah. didn't really know what we were laughing at. We uh, were just kind of laughing <laughs> with you. Yes. How did you get into it? Back in 2002, I was working really, really hard. I had an IT business as we went through the Y2K thing. It was a good time to be in business, but very stressful, long hours. And um, it just all caught up on me and just collapsed. They rushed me to hospital and they diagnosed me with anemia and uh, maturation arrest. Apparently that's when your bone marrow stops producing the blood cells. So I went home and sat down and just started to laugh. And everybody said, why are you laughing? So Merv, you were unwell, your yes. things were looking pretty bad. Yes. You went home and you started laughing. I think people would actually suggest that I lost my mind and I think they might have been right. <laughs> because I couldn't work out what was going on. I just couldn't work it out. So I just started to laugh and laugh and laugh. Right. Okay, so I'd just like to maybe offer you an explanation. Please. No, I might be completely wrong and off track here, but so you had a myelodysplastic disorder where your bone marrow wasn't producing the right number of cells. Correct. You may have had some mini strokes because of that. Yep. Uh, for example, if your platelets are low, you can bleed into your brain. Uh, if your white cell count's extraordinarily high, you can actually get little strokes in your brain. So yep. let's just presume that you did have this blood marrow disorder yep. and you had a little bleed. Well, there is a part of the brain called the hypothalamus. Yes, I've heard of it. It's this tiny part of the brain. Yep. And But it controls all the executive functions of the body. Uh -huh. And when you get a lesion in the hypothalamus, uh -huh. you can have changes in appetite. Furthermore, a lesion in the hypothalamus can also cause pathological laughter. Oh. Yeah, where people just break out into laughter for no apparent reason. And uh, the two parts of the brain that control those two things are intimately related. They're okay. right next to each other in the part, okay. that part of the hypothalamus. Well, my mind is blown because, of course, we all study the hypothalamus, which is so critical for everything <laughs> and, like, all your hormones and everything. Uh -huh. But what I'm hearing is you can connect the dots really perfectly here. I think and so. In, and in Merv's case... It didn't do you any long-term damage. It's just enabled you to take your life in a new direction. Oh, absolutely. I ended up getting put under the care of an oncologist. I said, so what do we do? He said, you come back and you visit me and we will continue to laugh. It took seven months until he just said, you are cured. And I go, great, what do I do now? He said, why don't you keep laughing? You're cured by standard Western medical standards. I blood tests and he showed that your counts were back to normal. Correct. So 15 years ago this happened to you and yep. for the last 15 years you have been laughing. And then you said, okay, I'm going to take that laughter and use it as, as a tool. Absolutely. So that was therapy. Exactly. Now I do it for my health and wellness to make me well. Laughing forces muscles to contract, which increases blood flow and oxygen to the heart and lungs. This triggers the release of endorphins, which can make you more relaxed, both physically and emotionally. Well, you Excellent. develop a technique, I presume, yes. that you then pass on to other people. And, yes. Yeah, okay. yes, absolutely. It's so a real laughter that we want coming from our core, where we keep a lot of disease, is here. Mm -hmm. So we smile. 
and we're breathing because it flares our nostrils. And we go, ho, 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 is just so easy it just starts to flow from your body love it what do you think about a trial can't say that i got any particular uh, what wasn't aware of any health benefits from that i didn't feel particularly you know immune charged or it was interesting i, I don't think it's a trial though it was, it was really lovely to hear your story uh-huh and i hate to be skeptical but i'm just not sure this is real trial material right yeah mervyn this has been awesome awesome Thank you very much. May I leave you with one little exercise? Move. Let's do it. Smile string, because a, a laughter starts with a smile. Bite it. Pull it over ears. Drop the jaw. Just look around. All the people in the room just go. Ah. <laughs> Some studies that have found laughter may decrease stress hormones, increase immune cells, help burn significant calories, and even help us live longer. <laughs>